Hey guys, so um, today's sound, background music, ambiance, as you'd like to call it, is brought to you by my computer and my hamster that's running around in its hamster ball at the moment. So it's making quite a noise, I'm sorry, but if I don't let him out, he chews the bars and it keeps me up all night. So better to have him out now banging around the place than to um, listen to that while I'm trying to get some sleep. Um, now today is the last day of January. I, that's right, I had to look at the date to figure out what month it was. First month of weight loss challenge over. Yay! So good. Do you feel good? Do you feel like happy with um, your weight loss so far? For me, I'm, I'm okay. I'm mama. There's a little bit of Japanese for you. Mama is like so-so. Um, so yeah, I lost three kilos this month. Um, unofficially, I haven't weighed in at the gym yet for the month, but um, it, the gym scales always seem to put on more weight than what my scales back home actually do. Um, so I've lost three kilos, which I think last time I looked at my fitness pal was like seven pounds. So that's great. When I hear other people and their losses and I compare it to theirs, like it's it's on average, it's on, on par. So I'm feeling good about that. Hopefully I can hit another seven pounds, three kilos in February. That would be just great. That would mean I'd be under 90 kilos, almost. No, I wouldn't. I'd be 101 still. But anyway, I would be closer to 100 kilos than what I was at the beginning of January. So it's all good. Um, oh, you know what? I haven't even looked up the motivational card for today. I'm so unorganized. I'm so sorry. I do this every day. <sighs> anyway, I just finished my workout. I didn't go to the gym because my friend Alyssa was busy, like I told you yesterday. But instead, I found something to motivate me. Well, not motivate me, but something to help me get... Um, excuse me while I clear my eyes. <laughs> um, sorry, these vlogs are just going down the drain. Um, I found an app that I can do at home that I sort of enjoy. It's um, not... Like, it doesn't push you, but the I'll explain it basically so what I think it's called um, complete body workout or full body workout and what it actually is it's a set of oh, dear Lord um, a set of uh, four different target areas so you can do a full body workout an upper workout a lower workout or you can work your core um, there's also custom where you can choose what specific exercise you want to do um, I always pick full um, you can pick the length of time, so from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. Each one of those time frames, so it's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, each of those time frames will give you 20 workouts to do, uh, 20 exercises, I should say. And um, I do the full hamster. Stop shaking the camera. You wouldn't think a, cam uh, a hamster look. Look at him, he's a little hamster. Well, you can't see him. Okay, come out and say hello. We interrupt this iPad ad. For a um, hamster. Hello. Don't you jump out. In you go. Anyway, sorry, that was the, the cute file for the day. Anyway, back to the iPad app. Uh, so 10 to 30 minutes uh, does 20 exercises in that time frame. 30 minutes will make you do the exercise for 90 seconds. 10 minute workout, I am not too sure. Divide it up 30, 30 seconds, I'm guessing. Um, so you just want to decide what's what sort of workout you want to do and stop shaking the camera Go on the yoga mat and um and just go from there uh, i pick full full does everything it does your arms your core your legs it was really good i was really impressed um now some of the exercises i found really difficult to do because i just haven't got that that strength that core strength there was a lot of planking not the not the highly anticipated social planking, you may call it, exercise planks. And for me, I had to um, I had to moderate them a little bit and customize them to myself. So when I couldn't do a plank, I would do a plank from my knees. Same as if you're doing a, a, a push-up and you couldn't do a push-up on your toes, you just go down to your knees, the same concept. Um, I found I couldn't do the workout for the whole 90 um, seconds. So what I would do is push myself as far as I could go until I couldn't hold myself up anymore, stop, give myself maybe five seconds, and then go back into it and um, just keep pushing myself that way. The only way 
we're going to get our bodies in physical shape is by pushing ourselves and by doing things over and over again so our bodies get accustomed to it. Um, so that's what I plan to do with this app. Uh, now, the good thing about this app is if you don't want to do a certain section of, of it, like if you want to focus on just your upper, you can buy just the app for upper body. If you want to focus on your core, you can buy just the core. Um, I bought one that was a cardio workout. It's just cardio exercises um, without realizing that I could buy the whole lot in one go. Oh, when I find the link, I just had a look on iTunes. I couldn't find the actual link to the app. But when I do find it, I'll put it down in my um, description below and um, let you have a look at that. Now, I'll show, you, I'll show you the icon. You can have a look at my whole iPad. There we go. This is the app uh, right there, um, the, the rainbow-colored one. So if you see that, you'll know which one I'm talking about. Um, oh, come back. Now, I'm pretty sure this will work for both um, iPad and iPhone. And here you go. You can select your um, your time and stuff and start complete workout. Long arm crunch. Okay. And it will do this. And it will show you the exercise and go ready, set, go. And then it will count down for you at the top there. You can see it counting back. And it also tells you the amount of exercises remaining, which is great. So it means you have 19 exercises remaining. So you can count yourself down that way as well. There's a button down the bottom to um, to take you back to the start page. And if you can see, it tells you what the actual exercise is called and what you're targeting. It also shows a video of how to do the stretch. It doesn't explain it. But um, I figure when um, when you're doing it, for me the first time, I, had so much, I have so much weight on my body, I can't get the full range of motion that they're getting in the actual video. So I just go to as far as I can extend and then back again. I mean, as long as your muscles are feeling it, that's the aim. It's to get your muscles moving and to make your body contract. Like, that's the whole idea of it. So it doesn't matter if you're not doing it like the video. As long as you're feeling it, it's it's the main thing, right? Next. Okay. That was the app. Um, what else do I have to do today? Uh, my motivation card number two. Number two today is the fast and furious approach to weight loss is also the fastest route to failure. Um, I find this incredibly um, inspirational because for me, all my weight loss um, diets and things I've been on the past, I've been on about 10 of them, have always been uh, lose weight really quickly. You can do it like this will get the weight off quickly. And um, right, uh, reading in Bob Green's book, that's actually the wrong way to do it because you're basically just losing water weight. You're not losing, sorry, you're seeing my arm there. That was really disgusting. Sorry. Um, <laughs> exposing it all here on YouTube. Um, anyway, back to the card. Losing it quickly means you're just losing water weight. You're not losing like fat muscle, not muscle, fat. Sorry. You want to gain the muscle. Oh my gosh. What am I telling you people? I'm so sorry. You want to lose the fat and the weight and gain the muscle. Um, what losing weight quickly does is just expel water out of your system. It's basically dehydrating you and you don't want that. I've spoken about it before. So it's better to lose weight really slowly um, than to lose it quickly because the quicker you lose it, the quicker you're going to put it back on as far as I'm concerned, uh, which is why it's the philosophy I've had in my head for a while now to just not be so worried about the small numbers that I'm pulling up because in the long run, it's going to pay off. Finally, uh, forum that I was talking about. Um, I've seen some more interest and it's great. I'm going to do it. But what I want to know now is the question is, what do you want to see on the forum? What sections do you want? Do you want competitions? Do you want weigh-in sections? Do you want links to YouTube videos? What? Give me as many ideas as you can as what you want on this forum. Um, I have to go. One minute remaining. Tomorrow I'm going to do a full body search so you can see the change in my body from um, the beginning of January to the beginning of February. How about that? Good night, guys.